Hey, what's going on everyone? Crunch here, and welcome back to the second part of Branbo. Um, a few things before I start, just want to say thank you for watching this video. I make these videos for you, so I'm glad you joined. Second off, this is my second playthrough of this. Pretty much what happened was, I noticed that the sound, there was something wrong with my sound, so my volume actually wasn't being picked up the first playthrough, but I didn't even notice until now. So, this is going to be kind of like a redux. So I kind of know where everything is, but it'll be okay. Third thing, I discovered that this game can actually play in 1080p, so hopefully this quality is a lot better than the first part of this video. So, let's go. Okay, first off is I'm going to grab this door, and let's go to the left. Uh, let's take some pills, and... Okay, let's try to grab this key. But curiosity is damn. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I'd like to be curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? Anyway, why will not you allow me to take the key? What are you? What is the right question, but why should be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but the key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. Please, just give it to me. I want to know what door can be opened with this. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. You are very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Brad, pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Can I have the key now? Look, person, friend, we come from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key, and all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So you are also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Alright, do that then. There's a problem. A filthy thief took the comb. Now we're stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you will have the key. Deal? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so we ran away with it. Please find it, and free us from the curiosity. I'll try my best. We'll be here, waiting. Alright. So, next screen. I think we could go here, and let's grab this axe. Nice. Alright, we could probably use this axe on this here. Scare the owl. Let's pick up this feather. Okay, and let's go to the next screen here. Alright, let's talk to the guy. Oh wow, you really are a very big ant. Who's there? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? Arg! You always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anyone. I won't tell. Don't worry. But what are you doing here? Real bad things happened to me, sir. But now I'm looking for my cat. A cat, you say? Yes, sir. A black cat with very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens to be that the cat is eaten. Chewed and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. Beetle pig? Beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it! Can't you see? Mr. Man is the only one I have. Everything is wrong. Wrong! Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. No, you are a murderer. You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not as fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. But what should we do? Kill the beetle pig. He is the, also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. Kill your beetle pig, friend. I, I can do it, yes. Do it. You can kill the beetle pig, and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Alright, so it's a win-win. So let's see if we can use this axe on him. Okay, nope, he's running away. Let's see if we can use it again. Use it on him again. Alright, stay still, beetle pig. So as you can tell, he just keeps running back and forth. So what we gotta do is actually wake up the ant dude. 
Wake up! The pig won't stay still. It seems that shouting and pushing him won't help. Maybe I have to try something more subtle. Try this again. And feather. Tickle, tickle. Ah! The thread is great. Great! Sir, wake up. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see. But that's completely normal, isn't it? Yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries. Mmm. But there are no berries in the woods. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. Alright, so now we start walking down this path. And we could probably take pills. Oh, Mr. Midnight. No! Pick him up. Vroom. Bip, bip. Look, friend, I'm in danger. Alright. Guess I can't pick him up. Okay, welcome to the anthill. Uh, so what we can do is, I think we could break down the door using the axe. And it drops this doorknob as well. So let's go inside. So next we're going to grab the glue. And we're going to take the glue and use it on... Oops, sorry. We're going to take the handle, combine it with the glue, and then combine this with the door. And we'll be using that later. And right now, what we need to do is actually climb on the bench and grab this piece of meat. Sorry, I usually like to explore this together, but this the audio messed up so bad that I couldn't use the recording. So right now, it's just going to be a, a walkthrough, I guess, on how to do this. So what we can do now is take the crazy pills, take the piece of meat, give it to the ants. So then they move away, and we can grab the bag. Take the bag, examine it. The bag is open, so now we can use it. So now we have a rat trap, and we also have this card here. And then let's get up Crazy Town, and let's take a look at the little house. So, what happens when we try to grab the berries is this dude will just stab your head. Ow, pokey pokey. And we can knock down this small little pine cone baby and then the mom will pick him up. So what we have to do is we gotta take this rat trap, put it down here, go for the berries, guy gets trapped, knock down the baby, and then grab the berries. Take, nice. So now we got the berries. So now we could get out of here. And there is a creepy lady. Alright, so now we got back. So now we're going to use the berries on the beetle pig and use this on the poor beetle pig. Look how happy he is. He's so distracted by the blueberries. Oh no. His best friend in the world. What? You are not my cat. Oh miss, you saved me from misery. Good for you. But I was hoping to find somebody else. I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat. My lovely cat. Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble often. Wait, maybe he is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why? What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Alright, Mr. Rat. Here we are. Someone took him, Miss. They just disappeared. Uh... Oh my goodness, can you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there is anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. I know, I need I need a, the comb, please. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Give it to me, right away. Alright then, but can you please comb my hair first? Yes, I can comb your hair. Huh. Look how happy he is. Narcissist rat. Alrighty. That's enough combing. Thank you, my lady. You are very kind. You are welcome. And thank you for the comb. So now we go back here. Go into the crazy world. Get the comb. And use it on these doodaroos. Here is your beautiful comb, misters. Look how happy and creepy they are, too. Alrighty. Oh, you friend, the person. You finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. So now we got the key. So now what we have to do is go back here. And what the sign says is, make an entry. 
So if you remember that door we had, we could place it down by this well here. But if we try to go in... Arg, open! Why are you closed? I made you! So it's locked, right? So now we can use the key on this door. And let's go in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Chapter 2, Part 1. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? Oh no, it's a trap! Ah, no! Attack, now I sleep. Oh no. Gosh darn it. Chapter 2, Part 2. Double Personality. Oh my goodness, where am I? Huh? What is this? A hat? A cat hat? A cat in a hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head! Kitty? Wait. Just a second, this is not my kitty. Just a weird hat. Alright. So, let's read this. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. It's fun to see what other people have in their homes. So what we want to do first is... Let's grab some of these. So these are some matches. Alright. What we have to do is... Kind of just do a little bit of exploration. Grab a vase. Uh, it has ashes inside. Look over here. Yo, creepy. Hello. Who are you? Can't you hear me? I'm Fran. Okay. Oh my goodness, the smell. I bet. That's kind of gross. These people need to clean up after themselves. Um, Jans? So, the stairs end up in a wall. Okay. So that's the entrance that we came out of. So let's go up the stairs. Um, let's check out this drawer. Nice, we got some black candles. And let's check this lever. I think we'd also pick up the broom. Nice, okay, we got the broom. Okay, let's go upstairs. And it's really dark, so we have to pull here. And... Mr. Midnight, are you here? Kitty? Meow. Oh, it's you. Oh my goodness, my beloved friend. I found you. Friend, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Let me see you. Oh friend, I'm so happy to see you. I miss you so very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I really missed you. Oh dear friend, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I'll open this cage. We need to get Aunt Grace. Friend, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Friend, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, friend? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. A presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human. But it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Bran, did you hear that? Did you? Well, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you. Alright, I love you. Okay, so now let's go back down. Yo, creepy ghost. Alright, let's get out. Mia and Clara. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now. Ladies, what are you talking about? Franbo. That's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal. Right? And now you really want to know who killed them. Right? Slow down. How is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. 
I wish I, I was at home with mommy and daddy right now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little friend? A little. It's odd the way that I came here, and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just want to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He is my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door. And that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah! And I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in a Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah! And I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods. And now I am here. Looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I am 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? We are 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked her names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yes, ladies. I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Uh, magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's a recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Alright, you will need... Blah, blah, blah. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us, you see? We weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. I guess like in this picture. But how is it that you are like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will need to do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best. We're going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Sounds fair to me. I'll be waiting for you. Alrighty. And friend, do you see this key? Can you imagine what it can can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. Ha 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 ha. Alright. That was a lot of talking. So, what we gotta do is gather some ingredients. So what we have to do is... Take a look at this. Examine. So what do you need? Heart of a frog, head of a young virgin, hair, pentagram, and ashes. So we already have some of the ingredients. Um, and now we can actually explore the house a little bit more. Ooh, spooky guy. Nice. Well, he opened a window. Thank you, but who is he? Okay. So here, I pretty much just click around. I think we can grab this as well. Pepper, salt and pepper. Uh, open this little drawer. Now we have a seed. Let's go here. So we could use... We could actually use this to put down some ashes. Um, why is this part painted black and white? I guess not yet. Are those eyes? Ugh. Uh, I think we can look at this shelf as well. So we could grab baking soda. A knife. Uh, what else can we grab? I think that's about it. Okay, and let's go outside. See what's going on here. Okay, let's talk to the frog. Hey you, Ribbit. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look girl, I'm a toad. And I know I can swim 
away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, and I, I magically come back. This house is a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Uh, yes, we definitely did. Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Oh my goodness. I'll think of something else, then. I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I'd be creative. Huh, <laughs> creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please, save us all. I really want to get out of here. Alright, so the next step is, we can actually grab this plank of wood. Um, moonlight on the water. You are so beautiful and calm. What we have to do is, we got to use this seed in this water. And it blooms into a beautiful blue flower. And now we can grab that. If we take crazy pills... Ooh, this is a creepy... My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. Doubters need the truth on paper. Okay. So let's just keep walking. So pretty much, how did I know to throw the seed into the ocean? Uh, they actually have this picture right here. That was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. So pretty much that. It's... I, it took me a while the first time to figure out what to do with that. And yeah, it's, it, it does not make sense at all for me, even then, now that I think about it. Alright, so we could grab this cauldron. And what we could do with the cauldron is... Sorry. First we could set up this ritual. Use... So now we drew a pentagram. And we could set up these candles. And what we have to do now is, I believe, we can fill up this pot. Grab this pot. Use, and then let's get back over here. And we can use the matches to actually start this fire. Uh, whoop, it's too windy, so I gotta close the window first, and then now I can use the matches. A juice. Perfect. So now the water's boiling. And what we do is we gotta take the crazy pills. Go in here. Ugh, so creepy. Go up, up and away. Okay. Let's go up here. And you can use this plank of wood that I got from the old bridge. I need a bridge, so we can use this. And now we can walk across. And we use this knife to cut that down and let's get back down and hop nice so that's a nice little shortcut so what's in the bottle oh thank you mr frog thank you for eating that and you're dead now way to go so when i try to grab this ah the bird why there's no fire so it's covered in like frog acid right so what we have to do is we have to do a little bit more exploring. We're going to turn off this sink for now, otherwise they're going to get a lot of background noise. Uh, let's go up the stairs now. And there's actually one room we haven't even checked yet, right? So... In this room. So we could grab these tweezers. Tweezers, to pick up things my little hands can't reach. And look, a mirror, but why is my reflection not there? And there's like a keyhole here, right? So... We're going to need that later. Oh, creepy girl, creepy girl, get out of here. Let's go back downstairs. And we go back, and let's take the crazy pills. So now, with the tweezers, use it on the frog. And now we can read it, examine. So this is pretty much everything we need. Um, to bewitch the twins, so blood. Five black candles, ashes, blue... Uh, rose, salt and pepper, and hair from the person we want to bewitch. Alright, let's get up crazy town. So we use this in here. We use this here. We use this on myself. Oh, that looks so painful. Look how deep that is. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so now we use blood here. And now, we're just missing some final ingredients. So what we have to do is... Remember that there was a... Remember that message that says doubters need to see it on paper or whatever? I don't remember what it said exactly. But what we gotta do is we gotta grab this... Um, this recipe and just put it into the typewriter. Type, 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 type. Hair from your head. See? That's because in this recipe... Examine it. Hair from the person you want to bewitch. We need it from them. So, in that case, I think we should be able to walk all the way back, and I think they should appear. Yep, here they are. Friend, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Excellent. Oh, psst, girl. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. Nope, that's hoarding. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye! Okay, so now we go back. We take this and show it. Yo, we need your hair. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Here, you say there's no hair needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down here in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. All right, sweet. So that's the last piece that we need for the recipe. I'll let you know when I'm ready. All right, let's get over here. Take the hair, put it in. And... What is there left to do? All right, let's examine this. Blood, black candles, ashes, blue, salt, pepper, hair from the person you want to be a witch. Alright, what are we missing now? So we actually have all the ingredients. So we did the blood. Black candles. Ashes to form a pentagram. Yep. A blue moon, moonlight rose. Salt and pepper. Hair from the person you want to be witch. So what is missing now? Unless the game is soft locked. All right, let's do this. I'll get my kitty back. Hmm, there are some missing ingredients. Thought I did everything already. I'm pretty sure, draw a pentagram, put a... Oh, that's it. Stupid, I gotta light the candles. There we go. Pretty fire, candles lit. There we go. So now the cauldron's ready to get picked up, and we got it. So now, we walk out there, and we talk to the twins, and be like, yo, potion ready. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Don't worry. The next video, I'm going to have absolutely no idea on how to do any of the puzzles. So we'll be back to figuring this out together. But for now, because I played it through once, we're doing this again. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. All right. Incantation time. Sploosh. And now I'll say the words. Boop ba bee ba blue blue blue. Ba da ba boop ba da beep ba boop. Flip flop floop flop la flu la flu. Ba da ba boop ba da hum la ba ba. Ha ba ba da 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 bim bam boom. Ba ba dum. Ba da 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 bum. Ba da jump 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 bum 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 bum. Nice. We said it perfectly. Wait a second. That is not the right spell. You tricked us. No. You tricked us. Blah. Creepy. So they were those twins all along. What a revelation. Alright. What have I done? Oh my goodness. That is not right. Whatever. Got a key. The key. Now I can free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. Okay. 
Let's go. So it turns out, if you try to use this key with the cat, it's not going to work. But do you remember in this room, there was a keyhole up here. So here comes the worst puzzle in the absolute universe. I am so bad with this. So, with the power of editing, I will solve this puzzle. So, it might look like it's easy, but it actually took me a really long time to figure this out. Spooky! Ooh, jump scare! So the twins were behind the mirror all along. What is this? Two skeletons. They're kind of small, like me. I can imagine who these were. Then I'm not a killer. What is this? Two skeletons. Oops. Sister promise, we Claire and Mia Buhalmet promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other. And we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Oh dear, this must be the key. Duotine? My pills are called Duotine too. So it looks like they were also at the insane asylum. So maybe they were testing on both of them? Look at this creepy doll. Alright, so let's go save Mr. Midnight. Up, up, and away. So, use this key right here. I think this is the key. It worked. My dear kitty, it worked. Come on, let me hug you. Come here, kitty cat. Aw, oh, so sweet. Finally reunited. Look how happy they are. Tears of joy. Alright, so we gotta click out. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, friend, my good friend. You are free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. Okay, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, look at the cat. So cute. So now, in order to get home, you gotta go like this. And go up the window. And pretty much if we talk to the frog right now, he's like, yo, I could... I could swim up here, but you guys are too big. So we gotta use a baking soda on the frog. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. And boom. Remember how it's like baking sodas used for bread to make it more moldable? Well, take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft, like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. Bloop. Excellent. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great. Let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant Toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Nice, we got the family picture back. And this book was with it too. Leon? Who is Leon? Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but this book is not mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Blah. I like it. I like this picture a lot. Adventure we go. Alright, we're almost there. So now we play a bit of Frogger. Nice, that was easy. That was easy. Nope, no, nope, please, something. Alright, here we go. Not that flower, so we gotta wait for the next one. Something soon, I hope. Here we go. So we got this little raft and jump. Look at the animation style, it's actually really cool. Like, they have so many different things going on. Okay, um, this one. 
this one, hopefully. Oh, just barely. I rushed that a little bit. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Oh, the leaf. Driftwood. And leaf. And we skipped that one. And now it's... Let's jump on this leaf and over. Sweet. I think that's all there is. And now we're on the other side. We've escaped the twins. We swam away. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Hop. A hip, a hop, a hippity hop. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Brand, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. I am so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Alright. So I guess... Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I could go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Wow, what a nice cat. I mean, he's only like 10 pounds and I'm like 600. So, come on, friend. I'm waiting for you. So this seems a little sketchy. And he just made me walk first, so what's up with that? So let's keep going. Let's keep walking. Friend, wait. Uh, spooky demon goat man always here to sabotage oh my dear I can't hold it anymore I don't want to die you won't die my friend come on you can do it jump all right here I go <laughs> grab my strong hand nope friend no Way to go, cat. Geronimo! Oh man, don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. It's Aunt Grace. Oh dear, Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please! You'll just leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Cry! Cry! Like this if you cry every time. But not blood. Blood's a little creepy. Bran, it's time for your new medicine. Red pills. Oh no, not the vines. Alright, and with that, this seems like a pretty good place to stop. This is actually where I stopped recording the first time, so... I hope you all enjoyed this part, the second part, or I guess this chapter 2 of Franbo. Uh, let me know how you think of it, uh, or if you like the style better in which I played through first, or do you like when I try to discover the puzzles with you. Let me know below. Talk to you guys later. Bye!